there everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is crystal for those of you who are new here and welcome to my fashion and lifestyle channel if you are not new then welcome back girl so in today's video i'm going to be doing a handbag review for you guys and if you probably if you've been following you probably already know what handbag i'm going to review but in case you don't know i'm going to be reviewing my new tory birch tote bag so i love this bag i've had it for a few weeks now almost going towards a month so and i like to do handbag reviews on here whenever i purchase any new handbag so i thought i would go ahead and and review this one because I love it and yeah I'm gonna give you all the details on it what fits inside of it so yeah if you're interested in seeing my new handbag review then just keep watching So just to kind of give you some details on the bag before I actually dive into the review. This um, bag is by Tory Burch, of course, and it is the Ella Printed Logo Tote Bag. And that's what it's described as on the Saks Fifth Avenue site, which is where I got my handbag from. Um, but yeah, that's what the name of the bag is. And it retails currently for $268, which I think is a really good deal, really good price for a designer you know handbag especially one of this size because it is huge so i think that's a good price and it's made out of recycled polyester and leather so this part of the bag here is recycled polyester and then this part here the black part is um real genuine leather so um but yeah so i love it and yeah those are kind of like just a little bit of the details of the bag um just in case you're wondering um you know what it's made out of or what it's called so um, but yeah, so let's just get into the review of the bag. So like I said, I love it. And I've been wearing it a lot ever since I got it. It fits everything. I mean, you can, you know, use this bag as like a work bag. Like if you work in an office, at, you know, setting and you need to like put your laptop and all your essentials in it, then it makes a good work bag. It also makes a good like travel carry on bag. Like if you're going on, the, you know, to the airport and you're traveling or if you're just like, you know, driving, you know, commuting to, you know, your destination, if you're not flying, um, it makes a good little, like, little travel bag because it fits so much. And I have a good bit of things in here and I still can put more. Like, it is so spacious. Um, let me give you guys, like, the dimensions of it real quick. So it is 17.25 inches wide, 13.25 inches in height, and 5.25 um, inches in depth so that's how deep it is so it's a pretty big size bag like, like like i said you can fit a lot of things in here and um i've been trying to like figure out things to put in here because um you know when you carry around this kind of a bag you really want to be able to carry around everything but the kitchen sink in it it's just so convenient especially like like i said if you're traveling or if you're going on like long road trips or something and you just want like a little tote bag you don't want to carry you know a big suitcase or anything like that then i think this is a good bag and especially for the price i think it's really good so but yeah before i get into like what's in it let me just share with you guys so it has like a little pocket here on the front this little front pouch has a little pocket in it also you can um like button it up here if you don't want it open and what I use this for, this little pouch here, is I put my phone in it like if we're, because I typically carry my phone on me like in my hand, but if like we're going in a restaurant or something and I just want to like, you know, keep it concealed, then um, my little phone can fit in here. Um, or you could put like little coins or something in here, like some money or something in here if you don't want to like dig in the bag for your, you know, your money or your wallet. Yeah, I think like a small little card holder will fit in here too. But I typically just put my phone in here if I just need to tuck it away for a minute. And then inside of it, it has several little compartments here. Don't know if you'll be able to see, but um, it has a compartment here and I'll show you what's in it. Then it also has like a side compartment where you can put like your laptop or anything like that. And then it has, of course, the middle part of it. And I just have like random stuff in here. And then this part here on the side, it also buttons up so you can open it up on either side if you need to, or you can keep it um, buttoned up if you like want it to be a little bit smaller. I think this opening it up or opening up the sides here just kind of allows you to put even more things in it. So just kind of creates more space for you, but I don't need that much room because I don't have a lot of things to put in here. But I feel like if I was traveling and then, like I said, I wanted like a carry on bag then i would open this up and like put you know more essentials in here and then of course the straps are made out of leather and then it has a magnetic closure 
let's try to show you guys see that's like a magnetic closure here all you gotta do is touch it up against it and it will automatically close it up so it's not you know obviously the most safest bag to be carrying around um, because it is open but that kind of gives you a little bit of closure but I keep like my um, the things that I don't want to like people to be able to grab easily I keep it in like a side one of these side compartments and zip it up so I'll show you that in a minute um, but this is the bag um, the uh, back of it doesn't have anything it just has the stripes and part of it is black I think the stripes the, um, the darker stripes here along the outer edge I think that's blue it's like a navy blue color but it looks black but um, it is navy blue and then like the inside of it is like just dark like coffee brown color like on the outside the, the uh, or the inside stripes are like a coffee brown color and then of course the leather this part here is black so you get a um, combination of of course the cream and then the blue or navy blue and then like a like I said a brown color and then black so all your neutrals you can wear you know any outfit like kind of like what I have on now um, any neutral outfit would go perfectly with this bag which is why I like it because it has all the neutral colors in it and I just feel like it will go with anything that you wear any especially if you're a person that wears like a lot of neutral outfits this definitely will be a good bag for you to have so all right so let's get into what's inside shall we so we'll start with like I said the zipper part here which you can see here this part is zippered and um, it's really deep so I can even put even more things in here that I don't want people to easily or someone to be easily or to easily grab then I can put in here so basically what I have here on the side are um, my wallet so I have my little card holder my little Gucci called card holder that I got a couple of years ago so I definitely don't want anybody to steal that because it you know has all my cards in it so um, but yes yeah, so on the side pocket I have my card holder and then I also have the keys to my car so yeah so I keep those on the side here and then I just keep it zipped up so like I said if somebody's gonna take something they're gonna have to put forth an effort and unzip it but um, I keep my bag pretty close to me so it'll be hard for somebody to get into it easily like that and then um, as far as this part of the bag here I'll just show you um, I have tons of like trash in here I need to clean it out um, but these are just receipts old receipts and then I have some um, hand sanitizer I just got this like from Walgreens I think so I just have some hand sanitizer in here um, I have some little tissues just in case like we're somewhere and I want to wipe off the table or if I need to wash my hands or, or like clean up hands off or something or just like I need tissue for my nose if I start sne you know sneezing and whatnot so I have some tissues in here and then I have like this small little um, hand cream this is by um, the Rio de Janeiro brand and this is the or Sol de, I don't know why I keep saying Rio Sol de Janeiro is what I meant to say Coco Cabana cream and it's just like a little mini size so I like to keep lotions in my bag because my hands get ashy um, and then I have some a whole bunch of um, little tampons that you just you just need those just you know for that time of the month so I have about three of them in here um, and then I have like my tie to go little pin here that comes in handy because I am accident prone and I'm always wasting something. So I have like my little tie to go pin in here for like little accidents if I need to clean up real quick. And then I also have like a little pouch here. It looks like a little fish. I've had this for a long time. I think I got it from Target years ago. Um, but I just keep my makeup stuff in here. I don't have a lot of things in here right now because I typically um, don't carry around a lot of makeup. Because I'm really, with this bag, I'm really trying to get to where I'm trying to figure out what to keep in here, like my essentials and stuff that I would need. But um, inside this little pouch here, I have just like two lip gloss. Um, so I have my Ride or Die Fenty Cream. Um, or what is this called? Fenty, yeah, Fenty Beauty cream gloss and this one I have in the shade honey waffles I think it is yeah um, I love this I have two of them I have one in my makeup room and then I keep one in my um, purse for when I need to you know reapply so yeah I have that and then I also have a lip gloss by Lime Crime and this is the wet cherry gloss and this is in the bitters cherry um, flavor 
and I love it too. It's kind of like a nude, kind of a your lips but better. This one is more of a peachy. This fancy gloss is more of a peachy is what I have on now. And this one is more like a your lips but better. So it's basically like a lip gloss, but it just gives me just a hint of color. So love that. And I got it from Jesse Penny Beauty. So they sell that at Lime or they sell Lime Crime at JC Penny Beauty. And then I just have like just a mirror in here. Just a two-way mirror in here it's pretty dirty um but i just keep in my purse like if i need to like fix my you know hair or something or to see if i have something on my face which i tend to have things on my face girl um but yeah i need to put more things in here like i'm need to go to target and get me like some blotting powder or not blotting powder but like a little blotting sheets i love those especially in the summertime when your face gets really oily um i like to have those blotting powders so or blotting sheets so i need to go get some of those to keep like in a little makeup pouch but that's my little makeup pouch i have yet to fill it up so hopefully i can fill that up soon um i just have a pen um it's just a random pen in here that i got from probably from the hospital or something um, and then I'll have some more um, hand cream. This is by Milani and it's in peach. Peach is one of my favorite scents. I love to drink peach sodas. I love to drink peach tea. I love to drink like I get by the little peach like crystal lights to put in my water. I'm just obsessed with peach. I mean, I live in Georgia, so I guess it's I should, right? Um, but yeah, so I love this. It smells just like peach and I got it from, I think I got this from Walgreens. Oh, it smells so good. Um, I recently got this, I guess a few months ago, and so it's just kind of reminds me, I don't know if you guys are familiar with, um, what is that brand, Mary Kay, their little hand, that little satin hands that they have, it kind of reminds me of that, because I think it's a peach flavor, but anywho, that's kind of like what this reminds me of, but it smells really good, and I love it. Um, and then I have more keys, these are keys, I have keys like on this little chain thing here, or this little, like, ring thing here and honestly i don't even know what these keys go to um i think some of them go to some doors at our church um some of them probably go to some doors old doors from old homes i don't know girl i just have a collection of keys and i have no clue where they go to um but i guess in case i do need to open up something and i don't and i need a key i guess i'll have my keys so but uh yeah so i just have some random keys in here um, and then I have some more little Kleenex wipes. I don't know why I have two packs in here, but you just never, you just never can have enough, I guess. Um, and then I have another something else I need to clean out. Like, I haven't even cleaned out this bag. I had some gum, some extra gum, or uh, extra uh, by Wrigley's uh, Sweet Watermelon Gum. It's empty, so I need to throw that away. So I thought I had more in there, but clearly I do not. Some more wrappers. <laughs> um, let's see, what is this? This is my COVID vaccine rec uh, record here that I've got makeup all over it. I need to I need to put this in something more secure. Anyway, my COVID vaccine card, and then I have the place that I go get my nails done. I have a little card here, because I think every time you go, you get them to sign it off and you get an extra $10 off. So yeah, but this is the uh, sal nail salon that I go to to get my toes done. Um, and then I have another card holder here by uh, my little Gucci one. I got this one, I think, last year for my birthday. Yeah, so I just have some other random cards in here. Um, yeah, I have like all my little certifications. Um, then I have just some other little random cards in here. But yeah, so this is my little Gucci card holder. So I need to actually keep that one with the other one in the little zippered pouch with the other one because I don't want nobody to take that, obviously. And then I have some more keys. These are my husband's um, keys to his uh, car. I don't know why. I have them in here because I don't really drive his car that much but anyway I have his keys to his car um, that are my coffee actually all right so those are all the things that I have in that little pouch and then this next little pouch like I said you can keep like your laptop in here because it's kind of padded it's more padded than the rest of the bag um, so I think that's why it, you know that's padded is because you can keep your laptop or your um, you know what do you, laptop or what is what's the other thing that people have now ipad yeah ipad i want to get me an ipad but i don't think i need it <laughs> i don't think i need it i want it but i don't think i need it but yeah you can keep your ipad in here um i have books in here so the first book i have in here um i got it from amazon and it is um it's called get out of your head by janine allen and it's um stopping the spiral of toxic thoughts and it's about anxiety and not thinking are, are not you know are keeping you are trying to show you or teach you not to think you know about toxic things um, I'm obsessed with like mental health 
I shouldn't say obsessed with it. It's my passion um, is mental health. So I love reading up about anxiety and depression and things like that. So um, I started reading this book and then I didn't finish it. So I need to go back because I really forgot what it's about. Um, but yeah, it says, are your thoughts holding you captive? I'll never be good enough. Other people have better lives than I do. God couldn't really love me. Jen Jenny Allen knows what it's like to swirl in a spiral of destruct destructive thoughts, but she also knows we don't have to stay stuck in toxic thinking patterns. So um, as she discovered in her own life, God built a way for us to escape that downward spiral. Freedom, freedom comes when we refuse to be victims to our thoughts and realize we have already been equipped with power from God to fight and win the war for, for our minds. It goes on to say other things, but I like the fact that it and also it talks about toxic thoughts, but it you know talks about it from the perspective of um, you know spirituality. So, um, but like I said, I started reading it a little bit and then I stopped. So I'm gonna go back and start back reading this because I just bought some more books from Amazon during the Amazon Prime um, that's going on now. I think it's still going on. So I bought two other books. So I need to read the ones that I already have before I start on those. So that's one of my goals for this year was to start reading more or read more. Because um, you definitely need to read to keep your mind sharp. So, uh, but I'm going to start back reading this one. So I have it in my bag in case like I get bored. I'm somewhere I get bored. And instead of scrolling on TikTok or Instagram or YouTube, I can just read a book. So yeah, so I have that in here. And then I also have my Bible in here. Uh, I do have the Bible app on my phone, but sometimes you just need like the, the, the handy dandy notebook. You know what I mean? You need the handy dandy book itself. Um, so I take this to church with me and I started back using it rather than going on my phone. I don't know why. I just like, I just like to touch something other than a phone sometimes. So, but yeah, so in the, that little pouch that you typically would put like your laptop or like I said, your iPad, I keep some books in here so so yeah so those are that's all the things that I have in this bag which for me is a lot like I know for some people it's like oh that's not a lot of things but like I said I haven't carried around a big size tote bag I'm just trying to put everything back in here I haven't carried around a big size tote bag in years like probably since I carried around like a little um diaper bag when I, my kids were small like and my kids are about to be 11 and 17 years old so like it's supposed to show you how long it's been since I carried around a big bag and I think because I had to carry it around when my kids were small I think now as I got older I was kind of like put off from carrying around a big bag because I had to for so long with kids so um but now I'm starting by getting into carrying around these big bags because you know it's just convenient like if you when you're at, especially when you're out somewhere like if you're going on a long trip or something and you want to you know be able to go in your bag and get what you need like I can even keep like some shoes in here like if we're going out somewhere and I have heels on and y'all know how it is those five minute what I call five minute shoes <laughs> like for after five minutes you just ready to come out of those shoes and so you can keep like some more comfortable shoes in your bag and you know you'll be good to go and or you can keep like um like a little sweater in here like this is big enough where I can keep like one of my little cardigans if I get cold I mean it's just so convenient to have a huge tote bag and I don't know why I haven't gotten oh I do know I like I said I stopped I, I was put off from wearing them when my kids you know were smaller and after or after they got bigger I stopped wearing them because I didn't need to carry around a whole bunch of stuff because I would keep snacks and you know diapers and stuff like that in a big bag so now that my kids are older and I don't need to carry around that stuff I just I carry around the essentials in small bags so I don't know now I'm getting into the big bags again so um, but I love this bag it's just like I said so convenient you can put all your things in here and it's so organized where nothing kind of gets lost and you can like add your own like I added like the little bag here for my makeup like you can add as many bags as you want to keep things organized because it is so big and you, you feel like you're like going into like Mary Poppins like Mary Poppins bag or something and just like pulling out stuff and like you know rummaging and trying to find where your stuff is but if you keep things organized like in little pouches I think that you know helps you to find your things because you you know your stuff can get lost in a big bag like this but because it's white and it's bright I feel like it's easier to find your things because the fact that you know it's just light in here it's not dark like a dark bag or something but I absolutely love this bag and um, I highly recommend it if you are in the market for a tote bag but you don't want to spend a whole lot of money but you want good quality um, because this is a bag that I'll have 
for years like I'll have this when I'm in my 70s and 80s you know because it's so chic and it's so minimalistic but still it has some style to it if you know what I mean so it's a bag that I'll have for years like I said and it's affordable you know it's kind of like on the high end of affordability but it's still not like getting the YSL Reeve Gauche bag like I've been wanting to get that bag because I see it everywhere um but you know it's pricey it's like almost two thousand dollars and although i probably would spend that money to get it you know why do that when i can get something more affordable that is just as good quality and i will still you know like i said find myself wearing for years like it doesn't have it has the toy birch, birch logo on it but it doesn't like have like ysl you know what i mean like the ysl one does i think this is a little bit more subdued um and just a little bit more chic in my opinion because of all the different you know tones and the colors on this bag i feel like it's a more versatile bag than um the ysl one so but that's just my opinion I, I still do love the ysl one and maybe one day i'll get it but as of right now i'm loving this bag and i highly recommend it and it's just so like so you know sturdy and durable and just a good bag to invest in and you know I, I mentioned kids if you have kids like little babies and you need a good diaper bag I feel like this is actually a good diaper bag you know if you want to you know invest in a really good diaper bag like if you are starting a family like if you just had a baby and you know you know you want to have more kids you know you're gonna need diaper bags right like that's just essential you need diaper bags to keep diapers and wipes and snacks and you know all the things that you need for your babies um, you know you'll have this bag for years if you go ahead and invest in it you can have this for all your children that you so decide to have um, and it's neutral so it's not you know it's nothing that's too girly it's not too masculine you know like if you have a girl if you have a boy who you know whatever gender you have I feel like this bag will be perfect for you know any kind of you know it for any baby that you have if you have a boy or girl you know like I said um, it's neutral so you know it'll just go with you know everything um that sounds weird it'll go with your children <laughs> but anyway it's a good like a good versatile bag you know even after you have kids you'll still have this bag to you know carry around for you know when they get older and they need snacks and you need to go like to the ball you know parks or you know to the gym and stuff like that you can carry your snacks you know in here too especially if you are like me i'm a basketball mom so when we go to basketball games to my son's you know travel ball games we're going all day so i can keep water and you know snacks so that we don't have to keep going to the concession stand or stop by the you know convenience store to get snacks i can just keep buy some snacks at walmart girl fill them up in here and we're good like so anyway it's just a good bag good versatile bag i highly recommend it um and you just can't go wrong because it's so versatile as far as the colors and you can just wear it for so many things and just have it for so many occasions and just highly recommend it so but that's my two cents on the uh Tory Burch tote bag um like I said I love this bag I foresee myself having it for years and actually when I saw that bag I knew I had to get me you know something to wear with it right because you just you just I'm, a, I'm, I'm very much so a girl that I like to match my handbag with my shoes so and um, if you guys have been following me then you know I haven't been I don't have anything from Tory Burch like I love the brand and I think it's a very chic and sophisticated contemporary brand but I just never had anything from the brand not that I didn't want to but just never really thought about it so when I got that bag I kind of went down the Tory Burch you know the Tory Burch band you know like the what do you call it the Tory Burch uh, bandwagon I guess for lack of a better word um, and then I saw these so um, these are the Capto flats by Tory Burch so I just yeah I've gone down that little rabbit hole is what I meant to say the Tory Burch rabbit hole and now I have two pieces from that brand and see how these shoes just go perfectly with it like this is what I'm wearing today this black please say outfit with like a striped shirt and these he are these flats and my little bag like it's a look so yeah just when I saw that bag um, and I saw these shoes I was thought oh this this is a match a match made in heaven like can't get any more perfect than this so and I'm starting to get into ballet flats so and I unboxed these in one of my last vlogs so you guys would have seen this these shoes but anyway so I love that outfit love the outfit I love how chic it looks with the bag 
and these shoes i can just wear this like i said with everything in my wardrobe so um but anyway so that is my handbag review of the tory birch tote um i will link the bag down below in case you're interested in it and um i will link everything that i'm wearing actually even the even the flats the ballet flats i'll link those down below too since i did show them in this video so but yeah you guys let me know what you think about the uh handbag the tory birch uh tote bag or what do you guys feel about tote bags in general do you like them do you think there's too much too big you know do you feel like you'll not have an, anything to put in them yeah that's kind of the problem i was having like why would i get something so big i don't even i don't I haven't carried around a big bag in years like what can I possibly put in it but you'll, you'll be surprised at what you can you'll find to put in it and you'll realize what, where you know where have I been with the tote bag like I literally can put everything that I need in it and it's just convenient especially for my lifestyle because like I said um, I travel you know do travel basketball um, and so it's just a good bag to be able to carry snacks and things like that extra things that I need throughout the day because I'm going all day and I don't want to be stopping at the stores and getting stuff when I can just carry what I need and just have it so but yeah so that is my review on the Tory Burch uh, Tory Burch tote bag so I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you got some inspiration and um, hope it you know inspired you to you know if you have a tote bag to just start go back using it I mean hey you can just carry around so much with them um, but yeah, you guys let me know what you think about tote bags because they are super trendy right now. So, um, but yeah, so that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And like I said, I hope you got some good info on this bag. And if you're thinking about getting it and you're on the fence about it, then girl, just go ahead and get it. You will not be, ups you know, upset and disappointed in it. So, um, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right, bye guys.